Hey everybody, so today's batch plan has changed. I was going to do home for the holidays, but unfortunately there's an issue with that fragrance causing irritation to the skin, so I have decided to change that and make something with a custom blend. This is my lye water, by the way. It's been in the fridge. I made a custom blend out of two fragrances. I got one from Candle Pro. It's Eucalyptus and Spearmint. And the other is Black Mission Fig from Fragrance Laboratories, run by Cindy Gooding, a delightful lady to work with, by the way. So I highly recommend her. If you really want a really good behaving, wonderful smelling fragrance, go there. Between them and Mad Oils, you cannot miss. So with this batch, with the Black Mission Fig, I'm going with Pennsylvania Green, which is a lovely green color. Basic Pearl. These are from TKB, by the way. Basic Red, which is maybe just a touch purplish, maybe. But it's a nice ruby. Turns out really nice. And this one is from Mad Oils. This is called Tempest. It's a deep, deep purple. Maybe a little black added to it to make it really dark. And I'm going to see if I can get some gold dust sparkly mica. I'm not going to open it because it flies everywhere. I'll do that when I'm ready for it. So I've already put my milks in here. I already have my oils blended together and melted. And I am ready to add the lye water. I use a strainer because I do use silk fiber in it. And I tend to try to keep some of the whole pieces out. And sometimes there's little dark bits that I don't want in my soap, so I use a strainer. The strainer is one that I use only for soaping, not for anything else. Coming together very nicely. It's coating the stick blender pretty well. This fragrance blend, the Black Mission Fig, states that it does not discolor. I don't know about the spearmint eucalyptus, but I would imagine it won't. I'm just worried that it might accelerate, but we'll see. One thing I did like about it was that fact that it had two speeds. You get a little burst if you find something solid in there. If you need to break up like solid milk chunks. I use coconut milk in all my batches, as well as the silk. Because it really does give a nice, creamy, smooth feeling to the soap. Okay, this is stick blended very nicely. Behaved itself. I don't end up with a problem child when I put, put the fragrance in there. I plan to use a hanger swirl. But you know what they say, best laid plans, blah blah. So we'll see. Yeah, looks like it's racing. Let's see if we can get that out of there. See that? Look at that. Alright, that looks better. Yeah, smooth. Okay. Whew. I hate it when that happens, don't you? So I'm going to divide this up. The main color will be white. The basic pearl. The other colors will be the basic red, the green, and the tempest purple. And I'm going to try to keep it kind of wispy. So I don't want to put a whole heck of a lot in there, but I'm going to try to save some of the color for putting on the top. I want to put something very pretty on the top there. Well, making a mess. The sun's going down, and the western sun is what you see lighting the screen and the window behind, in front of me. So if you see that, that's what that is. The sun sets to the west, and the west is over there. <laughs> so we get pretty good light here. Alright, let's see. Stop making a mess. It's funny how it always.
Kamu susah Sampai 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 Sorry, that's my phone. My grandbaby is feeling puny. She's not feeling too good. Gotta stop in a minute. But I know that's my daughter because of the ring phone. Okay, and this is the white. See how that looks. I want to leave a little bit just to drizzle on the top. This is so cool how it does that. Anyway, I should leave it that way. <laughs> right, I can't do that. That's too much oil separated from the last one. That's a pretty light color. like Bob Ross. We'll put a happy little tree in there. Put a happy little white background in there. I used to love to watch him, but his voice was so soft I could fall asleep. Never really got to watch a whole show to the end because he put me to sleep. But he was good. Never seen anybody paint a picture with a house painting brush. Let's see how that is. Hmm. Okay, so there's the green I have so far. Maybe a smidge more. Still want to leave a smidge for the top though. The oil that I use for wetting down my micas in these little jars, aren't these neat? These are perfect. Is oils that I've taken out of my actual soap bath. So I don't have excess oils in there any more than I would have had I just done my regular super fat. I don't add extras. I already super fat to like 6%, so I don't want to risk having too much oil left over. Let's see how that goes. Ooh, nice deep red. Nice. Can you see this? Perfect. I really wish I could have used the humble pie home for the holidays. It is a really nice fragrance. It smells just like apple pie. Warm apple pie. How they get warm notes in a fragrance, I don't know. But it's wonderful. And I miss it. Breaks my heart. Here's the Tempest. Right now it just looks black. <laughs> and once you get it all mixed in, then it starts to look a little more like purpley black. And that's what I really want because it is a black mission big. So there's a little bit left in this cup so that I can do something really interesting on the top. And that takes care of that. So here's my spoons. Let me go get my mold. And we'll see what we can do. Get a spatula. And I hope you can see this. I have a limited opportunity for moving my camera around because it's my laptop. And there's only so many places I can put it and have it video what I do with a decent set of light. So in goes the white. I may have to smack it a little bit to get the bubbles out. Still see a little bit of bubbles. Top. Yeah. I'm going to go for the red first and go for my light. Do 
get it to go all the way down as much as I can. And I'll leave just a bit in the cup to put on the top, just a little. So much this gives me. I don't need a whole heck of a lot, just a few dollops. So I'm probably. Oops. That's what we call blurbing. <laughs> it's a really technical term. All those good soap makers know how to blurb. All right, set that aside. Now I'll do the green. Again from the height. Try to go in a different pattern from what I did with the red. So it's mostly down the sides with the red, but down the middle with the green. And again, leave a little bit for the top. Holy cow, the purple has solidified. Everyone really knows what the white's done in the meantime. All right, blurbing. This is really going to have to be bounced hard to get the bubbles out. Wow. <laughs> I did not anticipate that. Probably should have with the rising thing. Guess I won't be putting this on the top. White's still fluid, that's good. Must be just a purple thing. So I'm going to top with say pristine. Either one of those electrical ties that you can get in Home Depot. I don't know what I just did, but we'll see. It's kind of a combination of maybe a little bit of a butterfly and a little bit of an infinity movement. And now, one of those people that can't ever figure out what I want to do until the last minute so I always end up flying by the seat of my pants with doing these things. I figure out much later, oh, I want to do a hanger swirl right before I pull out the hanger out of the cabinet. I just, I don't know. I like to ad lib. Don't know why. Sorry about the bowl. This is no real easy way for me to do this and not block your view somehow or another. I hope I'm talking loud enough for you to hear me this time. I know I was really soft-spoken last time, but that was because my husband was home. And he was in the background, and I was afraid he would come in here and start talking to me while I was talking on the video. He was watching a football game anyway, so I had to close the doors. He gets enthusiastic. What can I say? So I just sort of smeared around a little bit. I don't really 
worry too much about covering up everything that's underneath. Probably for something to peek through. And I think I heard him close this door. So we shall see. I'll get some blobs on the top and do like a design. excitement in our neighborhood today. So helicopters flying low. Kind of scary to think about why they're doing that. But when you live in a big city, stuff happens. And here he comes and you'll probably going to be a lot of editing on this one, I can tell you that right now. So I'm putting on the leftover blobs of the red. And then I'll put some mica on top of that and then I'll do the swirling pattern. And see what we get in the end. And this particular recipe really firms up nicely, really quick. So I might even actually be able to pop it out of the mold by tonight or tomorrow morning and let it stay nice and cool in the fridge in the meantime. I'm not going to use any of the purple on the top, frankly, because I put it all inside. So. Now we use the mica and drizzle that on top. Let me get a pipette. Apparently there's a news truck still down the street following what's been going on downtown with the incident. I'd rather not say. It's kind of scary. It's kind of sad. I miss the good old days. Were there really any good old days? I don't know. But anyway. For the top, I wanted to have a little bit of white and maybe even some gold. I add just a little bit extra in the oils. So there sometimes can be some left over, but it won't be a problem. I won't be short on oils. Plus, as I mentioned, I super fat to at least 6%. And some of these micas were pre moistened with just a standard olive oil because they were used in recent batches, like this gold here. I've used it in at least two batches already. So it's been around a while. And it looks really pretty as a mica swirl. But only if you use it sparingly. So here we go. Stay right along the surface. And it does much better. You don't want to mess up what you've done underneath. So keep it very close to the surface. 
Then I go back the other way. Since that's going that way, I will go this way. This time. Now doesn't that look Christmassy? Look at the reds and the greens and the golds. Perfect. Very festive. And this will take the place of one of the fragrances I could not use. I'll use this as a holiday soap. That is a very nice red, don't you think? Turn on a light. And I can get us some gold dust. This stuff, you cannot have a fan or a window open or anything else because this stuff flies. I mean, it floats for ages. But what a glimmer. When it hits the soap, it turns gold. It looks white in this thing. But when it hits the soap, it looks gold. Isn't that cool? I mean, really, look at that. That's cool. Very good. some slice picks when it comes out. All right. See you soon. This will be up in Nisi's necessities as soon as possible. Happy holidays.